Hello everyone, I'm Pierre bringing you another Node.js tutorial. Today we're going to switch gears a little bit and talk about Electron. Electron is a really cool framework for making cross-platform desktop apps out of web technology. Basically what you're going to get is a Chromium browser with your HTML, JavaScript, whatever, but it's a window on the desktop and it will have access to native things like the file system and stuff like that. So it's really pretty cool. Um, besides getting started with it, which I think you guys can probably handle without my help, I'm going to talk about inner process communication a little bit. Um, and there are two main sets of processes for Electron. There's the main process, which is in charge of holding on to everything and keeping track of stuff, doing the heavy computation and all that jazz. And then there is the renderer process, which is in charge of displaying things. The renderer process, you can have more than one of them, um, but it sometimes needs to relay information back to the main process and vice versa. The main process can talk to multiple renderer processes at once if you have multiple ones, or it can choose just one to talk to. Um, anyway, it's, it's pretty cool and it's actually a lot simpler to do than you would think. So first I'm going to create the quick start that we have here. Literally, if you go to Google and you search for Electron Quick Start, it's the second one there is. You can also get it from Git, but I'm just finding it easier to copy paste. So that's what I'm going to do. I already have my package.json. I'm calling it Electron IPC Counter. My main is main.js. My scripts are Electron dot and then ASAR packing, which we'll cover later. And my dependencies are ASAR and Electron. The reason I've done it this way is because Electron takes a long time to install. So I didn't want to make you guys wait and watch me do that. So first up is main.js. And I'm literally going to copy paste from here. I'm going to make a couple changes. I'm going to get rid of the windows.webcontents.opendevtools because I don't want to see that right away. And in addition to the app and browser window, I'm going to get IPC main for interprocess communication main, main process, from Electron. And that's the only change I'm doing so far. I'm not actually going to do inter process communication until after I have the quick start running, but uh, I, it's, I'm going to put it there so I don't forget it later. Now index.html. And I'm just going to save that one as is for now. I'm going to go to my Electron IPC and I'm going to hit NPM start. And as you can see, we have lovely stuff going on. This is your basic quick start for it. And uh, like I said, I don't think you guys really need my help in order to implement that. But if we want to do some inner process communication, let's make a script here. And we're going to say const o ipc renderer equals require electron. Then we're going to say let's make some function click thing that will happen when we click a button. And we'll say ipc renderer dot send. This will send a message to the main process. And we're going to send it a message type or label or whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to call this ping and I'm going to send ping as well. Why not? This is the argument you can pass 
and it doesn't have to be a string. It can be an array. It can be any JavaScript object. It's whatever. And so that's it for that part. And then how am I going to communicate with, how am I going to receive communication from the main process? You're going to do IPC render dot on, let's call it count. You get a function, you define a function with an event and an arg. And you're going to just say like, um, let's make a div here that says number place. Because we're going to be counting. And it has nothing in it so far. And let's make this counter. And IPC render dot on counter, we're going to take our arg and say document dot get element by ID number place dot inner HTML equals arg. So that's our returned argument. And let's add our button. Oops, that needs to go inside the body. Button on click equals click thing count with me. And there's that. Okay. Now main, it has a very similar sort of way that it works with the IPC main. Because I have that already, I can just use it here. I can say IPC main dot on, and I was before it says I'm sending it a ping, so I need to receive the ping. Otherwise, nothing will happen when I get pinged. And it's the same way you get an event and an argument. And let's make ourselves a counter. Far counter equals zero. And then let's say event dot sender. So that's the individual render process that sent this message to me. You can also just send to all of them, which would obviously update all windows. So it depends on what you were looking for. Dot send count. Why is it count? Because I said it over here that it's count that I'm looking for. And I'm going to send plus plus counter. And that should be it. Let's find out if it works. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, and so on. So obviously if I was using inner process communication to do one of each and I had multiple renderer processes, only the one that was most recently had a button clicked would be updated unless I changed it and sent it to all of them instead. Okay. So the last thing I'm going to talk about after inter process communication is distributing your app. Now they have a guide for this on the Electron webpage, but um, it seems like it's a little bit out of date to me at least. So I'm going to go over it somewhat. Um, you have ASAR, which is one of your dependencies already, if you were following along with me. And we have an ASAR script here which says asar pack my current directory into app.asar and unpack the dir node modules, which means don't include node modules in my asar. And asars are just an archive that Electron can read. Um, it's not encrypted or anything. It's just an archive. So I'm going to go ahead and say npm run asar. And the reason we're unpacking the node modules is because that thing is huge and we don't want to put that in there. 
uh, because it would take up a bunch of space. So here's my app.asr. And if I go to the Electron IPC folder here, and I take this app.asr, which is nice and small, and I go into node modules, and then, come on, Electron, and then this dis, which stands for distribution folder, I put resources in here, I put my app.asr, and then I go back to the dist folder, and I use this electron.exe right here. Now it has my whole, my whole uh, app all there and ready. So this is actually how you would distribute your app. You'd obviously want to change this from saying Electron to saying whatever the name of your app is. You'd want to change the image and all the other information like that. You can do that with RC Edit. Um, but other than that, you just take this whole folder and you give it to whoever you want to have your app. So this is what gets downloaded is this distribution folder right here. That's it. Pretty easy, right? Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Go make awesome stuff with Electron.